Maurizio Sari. Shout out to your boy Ford. Tweet to Supermont on, on Twitter at Supermont. Tell them to, to sponsor me. Give me five five, five crates. High school supermalt, top three things in the world. If you think for one second I am giving any credit to Sorry for that win, you're mad. Sorry deserves no credit whatsoever for that win. I don't want to be a oh my gosh, it's the manager's fault. It's never, it's never the players false Brazil Brazil because players, players, I'm I'm against that. You know, I think everybody should always sort of um, take um, a degree of responsibility within reason. Within reason, we have to start with the lineup. I believe he's trying to get sacked. Because, again, just thinking about everything, and I think Terry tweeted something to, to me as well about him against player power, and it just made me think a bit more, because I was like, I mean, this guy's the most stubborn guy in the world, this guy's foolish, but he's trying to get sacked. Him getting sacked, he gets his servant's pay. Because I just, I just think, I think he believes that obviously him and Chelsea don't go in the right path. He's now seeing this transfer ban comes through. It must be a degree of him wanting to, to get sacked. But, see, the, the Hudson Odoi thing, I'm taking that personally. Should, sh should we be, be real? Since it's 2019, should we be real? Let's just be, be real. It's, it's 2019. Press pause. Grab a meal and grab a drink. Grab a meal and grab a drink. Press pause. Don't you dare... Play this video without a meal and a drink. Don't you dare. Don't, don't want anybody watching my video without a meal and a drink. I'm just trying to understand. Is it, is it racial? But then he plays William. And is a huge supporter of William. Or is it because Callum Hudson Odoi is young, black, and talented? Is it just him being stubborn? Everybody on Twitter says, play Hudson Odoi, play Hudson Odoi. Oh, you think you can, you, can, you can tell me what to do? No, I will stand my ground. Is it being self indulgent or being very proud? Look at what I did in Napoli. Look at how much I was praised with, with what I did. How can you bloody individuals on Twitter, on Facebook, now tell me who to play my team? No, that's, that's not happening. I don't understand his reasoning for not playing Hudson. Because again, because when I when just looked at, at Hudson Odoi's face, you have to feel for him. I was like, my God, man, this this must just be painful. Because in his mind, he's like, wait a minute. I just made my England debut. And I was praised for my England debut. And this is a game against Cardiff. It seemed third from bottom. Maybe you wanted to rest Hazard, maybe you wanted to rest Kante. How don't you start me? What have William and Pedro done that have warranted them to start ahead of me? So you leave that to one side, but what confounds it even more is Chelsea played like trash. I mean, we'll get to the goals and everything. Chelsea played like trash. Cardiff maybe should have, should, Cardiff should have won the, 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 the game. We'll get to it. We'll to shovel one, one of the game. Chelsea played like trash. <laughs> because you're looking at this whole thing and it's like, you see, I think someone tweeted this to, to me about, about Pep Guardiola. Because I tweeted out like, this is just passing for the sake of passing. Passing with zero intent. And he said, like, it's different from Pep. Pep is all about passing, but passing with intent. Because when you look at Pep's style, he he wants guys to make 
those critical passes. So those guys, you're making those critical runs, but you're making those penetrative passes. Few short shots passes, but always try and look for that killer pass. That, that, that's key pass. I'm looking at Charles, I'm like, so where are the diagonal runs into the other box? Where are guys trying to find space? Where are the penetrative passes? Where are the forward passes? Where are the, the diagonal passes? One, two, give and go. And guys are like about three, four, five yards away from each, each other. It's literally playing in, in close quarters where you're not trying to do anything. You're not trying, trying, trying to, to, to do anything. And you, and you think about Conan Hotson, because Hotson Odoi is plays very differently from William and Pedro. Because where that William and Pedro play is, they go left and right, in and out. They don't go straight. Hotson Odoi is a old school traditional winger who goes straight. So he dribbles straight and tries to get to the balance. So he's much more direct in how he plays. William and, 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 and Pedro, they like to keep more possession of the ball and they try and like to go from left to right and try to go into diagonals. But you're having a game in which weaker opposition that will give you possession of, of, of the ball. That calls for a guy gets the ball and, and my God, I think because the, the commentators even made a mention that he guy maybe had, I think he had about four or five touches in, into the box. Now, how do you get a striker to have touches in the box? Maybe you get a winger who can get to the byline and cross. <laughs> William is not a traditional winger. Pedro ain't a winger. He's a dude that played in a 4-3-3 as an inside forward. He's not, he is not a winger at any shape, shape or form. So you say, okay, friend, those guys are not wingers, but we've got the wing backs. Those are the guys that I was pride with. I'll get to him. I really like Aspilicueta because I think Aspilicueta is very solid. And the fact that he's just not a wing back. He doesn't have the legs and just doesn't have the ability to first beat a man, get the byline and, produ and produce a quality cross in the way that a Danny Cavajal can, an Andrew Roy Robertson can, an Alexandro can, a Jessica Alba can. He just doesn't have the ability. But he's still very defensively solid. And if... and. Even if he can't get to the balance, he, sometimes he does produce very good crosses, especially from deep. Comment below, because maybe I'm over-exaggerating. Comment below. <sighs> I watch a lot of football, so I know, I, I even double in the French League, Portuguese League and everything. I'm trying to think, maybe I'm missing something, I'm trying to think right now. I honestly cannot think of a football player that is more useless than Alonso. I'm, tr I'm trying to think. Lorenzi has his uses. Baninix Rafinha has his uses. These guys do sometimes do good things. So they are bricks, but these, even these bricks sometimes have uses. Name any brick. They have some uses. Alonso can't cross. He can't dribble. He commits many fouls. He should have committed a penalty as well. He can't tackle. He can't defend. He's positionally clueless. If it's a case of if, let's say, Emerson is injured, play, play a back three. At no point can Alonso play, be, be put on that pitch. So, first of all, Emerson should always start. If Emerson is injured, play him. If literally he can't, he, he, he can't walk, give him a walking stick. If he can't have a walking stick, create a clone of, of him. If that has fails, play back three. But under no circumstance can Alonso sniff the flipping pitch. He can't slip, sniff, the, sniff the pitch. He's the most useless, currently active football player on planet Earth. He is. He's garbage. He's crap. Dude is useless. <laughs> So look, Cardiff taking the lead and the, with the way that Cardiff were going and Chelsea were going, it seems as if Cardiff were going to work with all three points. So he brings on Zad. Why he didn't start with Zad? I have no idea. Was, was it tired? I have no idea. Why, 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 why he didn't play the Kansi? I have no idea. Jorginho is, is a brick, by the way. I don't care when he says he's, he's a brick. So bring on Loftus Chicken on this points. Let's be real here. Again, this is cutthroat. You take what you will. Offside, onside, it doesn't matter. You, you take what you will and just let everyone deal with it. But I'm trying to be objective here. That was offside. 
that was offside. And in, as I told you, again, someone tweeted this to me, which is worse, English refereeing or Spanish refereeing. And I replied by saying that that's I choosing, which is worse, a ca- a um, shaving your balls with a cactus or a cactus shaving your balls. They're both as bad as it. Like, I can't pick which referee is worth England or Spain because both refereeing standards in England and Spain are crap. But at least Spain have bloody VAR. <laughs> I believe that VAR should just be introduced into England right now because the, the, cause the decisions that have been made are just crap. I mean, that was clearly offside. And that was a huge decision. Huge decision that... That could come back to... Hon- what if Car- I wonder if Cardiff go down by like one point. It could, it could screw them. But as people have said... Maybe this is the universe's karma because we don't, we don't know how Cardiff have been acting with this whole Emily and Salah thing, not willing to give it any payments towards not. So maybe this is the universe and saying, Sorry, bruh, this is our karma coming back at you. But look, 1 1, Chelsea can get the escape. There's a, the significance of Loftus. I, I love that Loftus Chick scored. I love that he scored because, again, this. this because I don't know whether Sari is a stupid, st- stupid idiot, a, a, a thick, dim-witted idiot, or he's trying to get sacked. So someone tell me, is he, is he, so please, guys, comment below. Is he trying to get sacked, or is he the thickest, most stubborn, stupidest person on our planet? We need to choose. Whatever the case may be, I like the love the chick scored. Because first of all, the guy was playing well. Because, bless Barkley's soul, love the cheek is technically better. Has better balance on the ball, runs with the ball better, is much more threatening. There is a speed and a tenacious, uh, and a tenaciousness with, with with him when he carries the ball, and he and he just carries a far greater threat on the ball than Ross Barkley. Ross Barkley just in a good player, hence why he's a classy brick. <laughs> um, and I love that Barkley scored quality goal by the way, good cross by William, very good headed goal, accurate, because he came off the bench. <laughs> why wasn't he starting? Why wasn't he starting? So, because my thing about it is that what Sarri is doing is, because it's weird. It, this feels like, like, like deja vu. I said it, Conte tanked that season. He did. He, Conte tanked that flipping season. But, um, like, what Sarri is doing is almost as if, like, I know, I think he should be sacked. <laughs> so, 90, 90 minutes went and Callum Hotsododoy didn't play a single minute in this game. So, Basically, I just you know Sari just needs to be true. I need to just get him in a room and just say, shut the hell up, cut all the crap. I need to know the truth. What points are you trying to prove? Are you trying to get sacked? Or are you just trying to be stubborn? Or are you so childish that because everybody has said you should go and play Kalam Hotel Dodoy, that you're 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 being so childish and pathetic that you're like, no, because everyone on, on Twitter is saying it, I won't I, I agree with it because all oh, the, the fans don't know. I I, I know. What you're doing to I mean, it's, I mean, it's, 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 it's harsh because William Nedro, those, these, the, they, they, they ain't great. They can be very good on their day, day to day, week to week, week, week to week. Then, then they're not consistent. So, how William Nedro have earned the right to play have of Callum Hudson Doy? It does not make any sense whatsoever. It makes no sense whatsoever. But that's what because. It's because it's so infuriating because this boy, Hanson Doyle, he's so talented. He's so good. And you can say what he wants and you can, you can call me charged about it. Look, when, when a guy is black, it's, it's a bit personal. I'm sorry, okay? Like, this is not me trying to be racial or trying to be living segregation. I love all people. I told you my best friend in the world I've known since I was 14 years old is white okay so my one of my my best friends is I've known since I was, I was 14 is white so I love I love all, all, all races man um but it's just personal that young black talented I like the way in which he he plays you know because the, the beauty of the husband is that you can't use the whole um big black and strong because he because he ain't very big he ain't strong He's he's quick, but his 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 uh, his game is not based on speed. His, his game is, is based on technical ability and the dribbling and technique. So I want to see that because that goes against that dumb narrative of big, black, strong, and fast. Because no, this he's just a technically proficient player who is young and can grow. 
Because because thing thing that just pisses me off is that Hosnan Doyle must be sitting down. He's friends with Sancho, and Hosnan Doyle is just looking at, at Sancho have so much fun at Dortmund. He's playing every single game. He starts every single game. This guy is enjoying himself because Lucien Favre says, go out there and just enjoy your football whatsoever. And he's competing for a, for a title. And Hosnan Doyle is like, my God in heaven. That could be BB. But well, that could have been me if I had moved to Bayern or even moved to any German club where I am, I am playing. But instead, I am stuck with this, with, with this, with this useless piece of crap, stubborn, useless, good-for-nothing idiot who, for whatever stupid agenda, is not playing me. Because there is no, ex there, there is no, there is no logical footballing reason why William Nedro should be playing ahead of them. Because I don't know what these guys do effectively. Because in this game that we had, Willina was pretty good. Pedro was he was he was useless. He was crap. He was he was useless in this game. <laughs> so it's very rare that you'll have a game where both Willina and Pedro are money, and it's very rare you'll have a, you'll have three or four games where there's never been a series of three or four games where Willian and Pedro, oh sorry, William Pedro have been quality quality. So it's not happened. So I don't understand. Someone please just exp someone please explain to me Sari's psychology. Explain his mentality to me because I'll cop you play for Hazard County because maybe they were tired. Even if I think that is still a crazy thing, 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 thing to do because all of these games are, are important because you'll be very stupid to put all your eggs in a Europa League basket because Frankfurt look very good. Whoever comes out of that Villarreal Valencia game is, is, is one of the favorites. So you putting all of your, your baskets, your, all of your eggs in the baskets of the Europa League is very short sighted indeed. No. You need to cover all bases. Yes, aim to win the Europa League, but my, my lord in heaven, try and get this bloody top, top, top four, which is very attainable based on just how topsy turvy things are. Again, look at the, the Tottenham results. So, um, so yeah, but look, at the end of for Chelsea, they got the 2-1. They got the job done. Cardiff should feel very angry. If, if you're Cardiff, you should, you should feel pissed off because that should not have been a goal. It was offside. And that was a twenty-one points of the game. And maybe Rudiger should have been sent off. You know, maybe she'd been sent off. Who knows? Um, but yeah, but you know, but no, no. I mean, no, 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 no. I, I don't know. I, I mean, it, it, please, just guys, comment below. I don't know. I'm, I'm, am I lost? Am I at a loss? What, what? I mean, what's this guy's problem? I just want to know. Just out of curiosity, what? What's your problem? What are you trying to prove? Please tell me what your fucking problem is, so we can move move forward. Please. Thanks for watching the video. Now think about becoming a Football Hot Patron by pledging an amount each month and then gain access to exclusive content only on the Football Hot Patron page. Peace. Head over to the official site at halffootballhot.com or just click over here.